everyone, Monica Fernandez with Evolution Essentials. In this video, we're talking about essential oils, the herbs, or essential oils made from herbs. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. In this channel, I cover anything from stress management to essential oils, wellness, non-toxic living. So I'm glad that you're here. So let's get started on essential oils and the herbs, so essential oils made from herbs. The first one that I'm gonna tell you about is oregano. And oregano is such a wonderful, wonderful essential oil, super versatile. And what can you do with oregano? Oregano actually is a really powerful cleansing and purifying agent. So you can actually use oregano in a spray bottle for surface cleaner. But oregano is also really wonderful to help support your immune system. Not only that, but also healthy digestion and respiratory function when used internally. Now, I don't advocate to use essential oils internally unless they're the brand that I use. And you can find 25% off in the description of that brand, just because I know that I can look up on the bottom of a bottle exactly a third party chemical report of exactly what is in that bottle. So that is why. So if you can't obtain a third party independent chemical report, then do not use essential oils internally because it can be harmful. And essential oils also can be so versatile and oregano, like I said, is also wonderful as an antioxidant. So all of the things I've already said, plus being an antioxidant, and you know oregano probably from cooking, right? So you, when you're using it as a cooking spice, it actually supports healthy digestion and respiratory function. And it also, its aroma acts as an enhancer and a an equalizer in essential oil blends. I actually went completely, did a deep dive on oregano in this video right here on oregano essential oil benefits and uses. So check that out after this video. Next one up made from herb is rosemary. I love rosemary. Oh, rosemary is an herb that you can actually plant outside and it's really, really hearty. And it's so used in as flavoring in your food and you can use it in stuffings, pork, roasts, roast lamb, chicken, and turkey. So it's really, really fragrant. And I actually use rosemary in when I'm roasting potatoes or roasting vegetables. I love, love rosemary there. So along with its culinary applications, rosemary oil has a ton of different benefits. Just like oregano, it supports a healthy digestion and internal organ function. And it's been long revered throughout time by the ancient Greeks, Romans, Egyptians, and Hebrews. So it's been an, uh, an oil and an herb that's been used forever. And it's very herbaceous and energizing. And it's wonderful also for memory and focus. So you really, really should have rosemary diffusing rosemary in your life. Rosemary is a great, great herb to have, herb oil. The next one is also one that you can cook with. And I'm gonna be talking about cooking uh, in a different video, but cilantro, this oil is awesome if you like cilantro if you're not that small percentage of people in the world that when they taste cilantro it tastes like soap if you're not one of those people you probably eat cilantro in when you're doing your guacamole when you're doing a ton of different things and cilantro also supports a healthy immune function and nervous system function so it's really really wonderful topically cilantro is soothing and cooling to the skin and it adds a fresh and herbal aroma to any essential oil blend that you're making or that you're diffusing. It also is great at surface cleaning because of uh, two of its chemical components and cilantro's cooking ability is endless and you can really add it for a flavorful twist to meats, salads, dips, and guacamole. Like I mentioned, I love, love, love doing one or two drops of uh, cilantro essential oils in my guacamole. It's awesome because guacamole, I live in Florida and cilantro dies very quickly because of the heat outside. So it's not an herb that I can actually grow and maintain 
very well. And because I have cats, I can't really bring my herbs inside because they would destroy them. If essential oils are new to you, I want you to do me a favor and watch that video right there later on the top 10 benefits of essential oils. Next one up is basil. And basil is another one of my favorites. It has a warm and spicy yet herbal aroma. And it's actually known to reduce anxious feelings and not only it provides great benefits to both the mind and body to due to its high linalool content making it an ideal application to help reduce feelings of tension when applied to the temples and back of the neck basil is commonly used in cooking to add a fresh herbal flavor to meats pastas and entree dishes and it's also cooling to the skin so a lot of the herbs are going to be similar in their function because they're kind of related some of them right so the uh, aroma of basil also promotes a sense of focus and stress relief so that's wonderful the next oil up is peppermint the next herbal peppermint so you know probably peppermint what you might not know is that it's a hybrid of water mint and spearmint and it was first described by Carl Linnaeus. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, in 1753. So that's really interesting. It has a high menthol content and it's really, really a wonderful herb and peppermint is used to frequently freshen breath and promote healthy digestion, um, help relieve occasional stomach upset and help your respiratory function because if you Put one drop of peppermint in your hand and you close your eyes and you cup your hands that peppermint is going to clear up your airways and it's going to wake you up and make you alert i promise you that so if you want to know more about peppermint essential oil please watch that video right there on peppermint essential oil next one up next herbal is thyme and thyme is commonly used as a seasoning but it also produces a potent essential oil that has cleansing and purifying effects for the skin. However, because it has very high thymol, it should be diluted with a carrier oil before application. I actually did a video on dilution of essential oils and you can watch that right there. And also another thing I talked about in another video was carrier oils and you can watch that afterwards as well because those two are kind of related. Experimental research suggests that internal use of thyme essential oil may benefit the immune system due in at least in part to the thymol and carvacrol content. Those are two chemical components and benefits and uses. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel right here and like this video. Please share it with somebody that's interested in natural solutions and wellness because I'd love to for, for them to watch this educational series that I do with essential oils. And last but not least, I want you to do me a favor and download my green cleaning guide for free to detox your home. I use a, a bunch of essential oils and very limited ingredients for you to make your DIYs at home and save a ton of money because not only you're saving a ton of money, but you're saving your health as well. So comment below what is the herbal essential oil that you're going to try next and i hope you got major value from this video and i'll see you in the next one